friends welcome you in KK Java tutorials in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to create a generic method in Java so here you can see on the slide I have listed a few key points uh, uh, with respect to generic method in Java but before going through these uh, key points let's uh, create one uh, one a uh, generic uh, method in Java so here I have created a project and uh, here you can see I have one class in client package which is having a main method and I have one more package is called com java com dot kk java tutorials dot generic here I am going to create a class let's say I am going to create a generic class I would say my generic class and this class is having a type parameter as well right so I have created a generic class here now I'm going to declare a array of type T so I would declare T and let's say this is a kind of array and right click over here go to the sources and uh, select this option generate constructor using fields now I have generated a constructor sorry semicolon should be here now let's create a get public getter method go to the source and select generate getters and setters and I want to select only getters so select getters and getter is generated now this is my generic class right now here I want to define a generic method within the generic class so how we can do define so first of all of course you need to specify the public uh, I'm going to specify public access modifier now to define a generic method after your access modifier uh, you can also uh, specify a non access modifier like a static but uh, I'm not going to make my method a static right so I'm going to create a generic instance method so after specifying the uh, access modifier you need to specify the generic type parameter and that's the way to specify basically generic type parameter you will have to specify the angular bracket and here you need to specify your generic type parameter so I have given the E, E stands for element and after that you can you can specify the return type of your method so here my generic method is not gonna return any thing so that's the return type void right and let's say method name I'm going to specify print elements so basically here I'm going to define a generic method which which, we, which is going to accept a list of uh, sorry uh, array of elements and same uh, that is gonna print in the, in the inside the method itself right so I hope you understood how to uh, specify the header section of your generic method so first of all you will have to specify uh, access modifier then type parameter before your return type and method name as usually you define and here this is going to accept any kind of data type right so you can pass either uh, array of integer array of long double array of a string array of any generic any data type like array of employee array of persons any data type this method is going to accept now just i am going to iterate this uh, list of uh, array of uh, element and just I'm gonna print inside the loop itself so I would print E so this is just I have defined my generic method so simple right now I'm going to make use of this generic class right so that's what I have a client program so here here let's say I'm going to uh, let's say I'm going to use uh, integer yeah now object of name my generic class one equals to new i'm going to create an instance of the generic class and this is asking me to pass array of element right and that's what uh, we have a constructor array of uh, element so here uh, array of element uh, can be any data type right and that's the use of basically when you define a generic class uh, your class will work with the any data type so here I'm going to create array of integer right and let's say this is array 
and I'm going to initialize this array with few elements. Yeah, and this array I have passed over here. Now, so now my uh, I have initialized right this generic array inside the constructor itself. Now we have a public getter method to get this value. So I have a reference of this class, generic class, and I can call a get array. And this is going to return us array, right? Let's say array 2. Now I have a reference of my generic class. I'm going to call my uh, print method, right? Print element method. And this array 2 I'm going to pass. And let's see whether my generic uh, method, method is able to print all the elements or not. So if I run this program, then cool. This is printing all the elements, right? Now let's see how. Now I'm going to uh, uh, create an array of uh, a string, right? So I, I would say a, uh, a sorry str str array. So a string of array basically. And uh, here I can pass list of a string like kk, pk, and you can specify more elements if you want. Right? This is basically array of uh, a string. Now I'm going to create another object of my generic class, right? And at this time, uh, a data type would be a string itself, right? And here I'm going to pass this a string array. Now, of course, we can call a uh, get method, right? So, see, uh, my generic class is uh, gonna work for different data type, right? And uh, and that's the beauty of generic class. Now, I can again call my uh, print method, right? Which is, which is available in the, the in the uh, this generic method available in the generic class itself, and we can pass this array three. And uh, uh, let's see, we are able to print. A string as well or not and this is printing the string as well right cool so i hope you understood how to create a uh, basically generic uh, method inside a generic class itself right but the second point you will have to keep in mind uh, here we have defined a generic uh, method but it's not mean that generic method always we can create inside the generic uh, class itself even though your class is non-generic, still you can create a generic method inside that. So let's create one more class. I would say, uh, let's say non-generic class, right? And uh, generic method which we have defined over here, I'm going to copy and paste it over here, right? And uh, still we are able to create a basically a generic method inside a non-generic class and from client program if i go to the client program here itself so we would be able to call this method as well so let's create an instance of this class non-generic class inside the client program sorry and here and here we can call this method print elements method right from here itself print elements and here we can pass this array right we should be able to print the array of integer right so if i am try to run then we are able to print array of integer right now we can call this method again by pass some other data uh, other array type as well like uh, str array and uh, this should also print the uh, element of a string and cool we are able to do that right now here uh, one more thing you will have to keep in mind right so here when you call a generic uh, method right then specify a type parameter is not mandatory this is just optional here you can even specify the type parameter is still you will be uh, able to uh, call this method right this is this is still working perfectly fine so when you are calling a generic method uh, there is no need to specify type right 
type will be inferred automatically based on the type of the method argument itself so calling uh, method uh, using uh, this form right uh, uh, for a string argument is uh, also okay but it is not uh, basically mandatory right even though we remove this type parameter still this is gonna work so almost we have covered the most of the points how we can create a generic method in java now we can go through the these key points so first key points says uh, any method in the generic class can use the type parameter of the class so that so that way methods in the generic class are generic and that already we have seen in the first example right we had created a generic class and in that generic class uh, we have created a generic method right now second point says uh, but uh, one thing that is not matching what a statement i have given so here uh, basically my type parameter in the class is t but this t is not gonna use directly by this method right but if you want to use this type parameter directly in your method then you can use as well right here basically this type t i have declared an array of uh, uh, elements and uh, those array of elements is getting basically initialized while calling the constructor itself and we have a, we have provided the getter method and from client we call the getter method we get the array of uh, stuff and we call the uh, basically uh, print elements method right but uh, this type parameter directly you may use in your generic uh, method itself right now second method generic methods can add more parameters of their own right there can be generic methods even in the non-generic uh, class so uh, what i'm trying to say here uh, when you write a generic class generic method inside the generic class then uh, type parameter which is uh, going to mention in the class parameter generic method can use that parameter uh, apart from that generic uh, method can have a more uh, its own uh, type parameter as well right and uh, then gen uh, and there can be a generic method uh, inside the non generic class that already we have seen right uh, third point when you are writing a generic method after access modifier you need to declare the type parameters then the return type as example you are writing a public method that uses one type parameter and doesn't return anything then it will be written as something like this right first of all you need to specify the access modifier then generic type parameter then you will have to specify the of course uh, return type of method method name then uh, if your method accepts any type parameter that also you can specify so guys that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial i hope you like this video if you really like this video then hit on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel uh, if you want to learn java in more details then you can visit our website kkjavatutorials.com that's all i have in this video tutorial guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial